Now at five, he killed four people in a spree in August of 2013 that left all of Omaha on edge. From a double murder in South Omaha to the killing of a former inmate north of downtown and the gunning down of a West Omaha mom. Now a three judge panel is deciding the fate of Nico Jenkins. And the big question, will he get the death penalty? Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live at the Douglas County Courthouse with the story today. Jake. Well, Craig, most of the morning is spent on deciding if Jenkins is competent because he had a low IQ test about 10 years ago. Well, eventually they are able to move forward with that hearing. Life or death will be up to the three judge panel in the case against convicted spree killer Nico Jenkins. This morning, attorneys argue if Jenkins IQ was high enough for him to even have a death penalty hearing. A test when he was first incarcerated in 2003 suggests his IQ was 69, which is under the threshold. Jenkins himself objected to his own attorney's questioning and wanted to get right to the three judge panel. I want to expose these, these temporal physical evidence and this perjury that these officers committed before I was ever charged. Judge Peter Battalion orders that the hearing move forward and Jenkins is competent. Jenkins tells me he pleaded no contest because he wanted to keep his family from being implicated in the murders, but now says that he was set up. He will testify in the death penalty hearing and says he wants to expose the corruption. The internal affairs investigation on Douglas County Sheriff's and Omaha Police Department have been filed and those, those law enforcement agencies need to file those investigations to those temporal physical evidence of the law enforcement officers. And prosecutors say that there is enough evidence to show that he committed these murders and that there are also nine aggravators that may be proven here in front of the judges. That three judge panel would then have to deal with mitigators if they do find that any of the aggravators are there. Now, the witnesses started today with a Tecumseh corrections officer who was actually assaulted by Jenkins. Jenkins was convicted of assaulting him in 2009 when he escorted him to a funeral in Omaha. Now, Judge Battalion says Jenkins will likely get a chance to make make an opening statement for himself tomorrow. Reporting live in the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.